Hey, good evening, everybody. This is your friend, your brother, Derek Day. And uh, just came back from uh, picking up the car from getting it serviced. Actually, I, I picked it up yesterday, but um, uh, I had something that I wanted to share. And I really didn't get a chance to share it yesterday because my work day was so crazy. But um, I want to share this with you. Uh, I'm really blessed to, um, well, first of all, I'm a car nut. Let me say that. I want to get that out there because a lot of things that I say are are framed with references toward uh, automobiles or sports or military uh, because those are experiences that shape my life. So I want to talk about something automotive and one of the things that um, that happened in the in the servicing of the car is that uh, the turbocharger had to be replaced, and so when the when the turbocharger um, had to be replaced. It was, uh, it it had to do with the uh, the forced air induction of the car. Now, just to kind of give you a little bit of uh, uh, of an understanding of this, a turbocharger is basically an air pump, and your engine is like an air pump, and your engine by itself is a powerful device and it can do powerful things. It can propel your car and all of that. But here's what happens is that when you put a, a turbocharger on the car, the turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gas that would normally just go out your tailpipe. So this exhaust gas goes and it, it goes up into the turbocharger and it spins a turbine. And that turbine is attached to another turbine and another chamber that is a, uh, a compressor. And what it does is it sucks in air from the outside and compresses it and forces it into your engine. Now, you say, okay, so where does this all fit in with, uh, with the kingdom of God and with grace? Well, let me tell you. Again, your engine is basically an air pump. The cylinders suck in air and fuel. Uh, they compress it and burn it and expel it. So that's basically what happens in, in your car's engine. Well, here's what the turbocharger does. Again, is it takes, the, it takes what would normally be wasted and turns it into power. In other words, it's like how the Holy Spirit turns your exhaustion into power. In other words, when you feel tired, the Holy Spirit aspires you. In other words, it adds air to you. Now watch this. The, the, the Holy Spirit is ubiquitous. He's always there and he's always on. You don't have to call him, call on him to come and in, indwell with you or to cohabitate with you. He's already there. The problem is, is that in a lot of cases, we just simply don't realize it. We don't access it. So what the turbocharger does is it takes air that's already there because there's no more additional air. It takes air that's already there and uh and brings it in and compresses it you know that's like the whole thing in uh in luke chapter six you know good measure pressed down shaken together running over in, in other words what jesus is talking about there is compression he's talking about taking uh what what uh what is given and compressing it and and making it uh more forceful making it produce more power amen so here's what happens is that <laughs> when you are turbocharged in faith it takes the, the the power of the Holy Spirit that's already there and compounds it with pressure. It it and, and it comes from not your source, but what you think is wasted. God takes the wasted things and converts them into useful things. And so this this unused or or this um basically what will be waste from your efforts is now being converted by God into power. It's allowing you to access more of his Holy Spirit, or better yet, you're not getting any more of it, but basically you're utilizing it better. You're making it, it's making it more efficient. So here's what happens when you understand God's unconditional love and grace. It's like putting a supercharger or a turbocharger on your engine of faith. And now what you thought you could do, and, and see the other thing too, let me say this, is that a car's engine without a turbocharger or a supercharger is called naturally aspirated. In other words, it breathes naturally based on its own effort. But when, when, it's, when it's turbocharged or supercharged, it's called forced induction. So when you strap on the, the turbocharger of, of God's unconditional love and grace, God takes 
his super and puts it on top of your natural. And, and really awesome things happen because this engine on its own probably produces about 300 horsepower. But with the turbocharger on it, it makes like 400. And it takes what is a, what is a big sedan and propels it like a sports car. I mean, this thing will giddy up and go. Amen. And so watch this. When you get the revelation of God's unconditional love and grace in your life, and that super is placed on your natural, you began to have power to do exploits that, uh, that you couldn't even imagine. You, you just couldn't imagine. There, there's a story about, and I, I recommend that if you're a car guy or a car girl, uh, go and uh, check out YouTube and do a search on the nine-second Corvette. Uh, the nine-second Corvette is basically a car that's a daily driver. It's a street driver that has the capability of running a quarter mile. That's 1,420 feet in nine seconds. Amen. That's powerful. I mean, not, there, there are no uh, production cars that can do that. But it's through the, uh, the power of forced induction. It's through turbocharging. In other words, there is super placed on the natural aspirated uh, engine, supercharging the, 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 the effort. I hope that that blesses you because um, what, what you need to do is catch this revelation of God's unconditional love and grace. And when you catch this revelation, God will supercharge your faith. He will supercharge what you do. He'll put his super on top of your natural and you can watch the amazing happen. You can watch the amazing happen in your life. You can watch the amazing happen around you. You can watch the amazing happen in the, in the lives of others around you because God wants to supercharge you. He wants to make you more powerful, more faster, uh, more sophisticated, better in every way than you could ever imagine. Amen. I hope this blesses you. I know I rambled on a bit, but uh, I just want to say this before I go. God loves you and so do I. And y'all be blessed. We'll talk to you later.